What's wrong? I'm not really in the mood. Why not? Just being like, you know, thinking and stuff. Thinking? Aye. What about? Rugby? No. Stereophonics? No. Well, what is it then? Well, just wondering why you always bother with that beach ball boy all the time. Beach ball boy? Aye. The really fat one. Always wearing that gigantic grey t-shirt. Oh, Tony. I always see you laughing and joking with him. You hardly ever laugh and joke with me. Of course I do. Rich, you've got nothing to worry about. But I am worried. A bit anyway. You and him are able to talk about that weird Japanese manga cartoon stuff you love and all I'm able to talk about is rugby. And the stereophonics. Ah, I only their one song though, as long as we beat the English because well, it's about rugby. I don't care that you don't like anime. I don't like rugby. I like you because you care about me and you look out for me and because deep down you're a softy. Promise? Promise. Come here. Oh, oh, go on. Go on, Red. You deserve it. You deserve it all. Oh, Necker. Jockey told me. Yeah, oh, well, you know, it is what it is, Al. Nothing I can do about it now. Not that I give a fuck about it anyway. That site's gone to shit over the years. All it was at the end was me, you and Jock, busting our fucking bollocks, getting everything done while everyone else sat on their asses all day. Aye. And Blev, the fucking gold of the guy, he just fucking rolled up, giving it the big I am, over that fucking yappy little shit of a dog. I just said to him, Blev, fucking wrap it up quick now, son. I know the score. All that shouting is for fucking show. And I left. If he had kept on, I'd have fucking pushed his fucking wheelchair over. <laughs> no way am I fucking scared of that wrinkly old crippled bastard. He's a fucking cunt. All right, Blev? Uh, fucking what? B Blev, I'm just messing around like... <laughs> You're a dull cunt, I. Oh, fuck off. I was just playing along anyway, Al. Blev can't get to me. You know, I haven't even shed a single fucking tear over this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, 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 I'm so confused, Andre. I mean, I, I'm gonna, how am I gonna live my life now? I mean, that, that site was my world, my, my everything. There's a bean. <laughs> Why don't you come and work with me? They're taking on at the moment. Oh, I don't know. Call centre work. Seems like a bit of a stretch, to be honest, Al. Jobs are fucking doddle like. And the money's good as well. Uh, could do, I suppose. I'll talk to my boss. See if I can get you in for an interview. Uh, you know, I go on then. Fuck it, let's do it. It's only fucking picking up phones all day. Sounds like a fucking piece of piss, to be honest. Cheers, Al. No problem, son. No problem. Rich! Richard! What? Oh, I just, I just saw Kate. She's with Tony. They were walking in the college together. And Kate fake punched him. And Tony fucking fake punched her back. And he accidentally punched her boob. So? The tension, Rich. Oh, there was so much you know, tension. Sexual. Sexual tension. Greg, you heard Kate yourself. She said they're just friends. But we're so fucking hard, Rich. We should just kick his fat fucking teeth out. Show him how hard we are. Greg, look, he's not a threat. If he was, I might, but he's not. So I'm not. Huh? What? He's fat and harmless. And I trust Kate. Just let it be, man. Fucking hell. Play your part, Richard boy. Come on, step up. I think I'm some in. I'll fucking turn it round on that little fat cunt. Gregory Stanley Winton! What have I told you about lingering round the changing rooms? 
Now fuck off! Uh, I don't think I can make it. I um, I told Kate I'm going shopping with her. Oh, don't tell me. You're going to go to the candle shop, are you? What? No. No, we're not going candle shopping. Going to get matching charm bracelets by any chance? Deacon, that's just... I wouldn't do that. Hey, guys. I was just, um... Um, when you when the next anime club is? Oh, hey, Sonia. Um, yeah, uh, same time next week. Uh, okay. I, I, I want you to talk about One Piece when I go there next time. Are you going to be there, Deacon? I doubt it. Sonia! Move your little ass! It's chicken time! Oh, sorry, Dad. I gotta go, guys. Um, I, I'll see you later. I, 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 bye, Deacon. Ah, oh, Deacon. Seems like you can't admire her, boy. Well, I understand, but uh, I don't admire her. That's a bit fucking harsh, isn't it? Let's just say I'm not interested. So you wouldn't, then? No. What about for a thousand pound, like? No. Ten thousand? You couldn't pay me enough to sleep with her. Oh, Deke is a bit harsh. She's, she's a really nice person. So there's nothing we can suggest for you to sleep with Sonia? No. You cannot buy this. I'll tell you what I would do, though. I would sleep with her if every country in the world promised to nuclear disarmament. Oh, well, that. There's no way that would happen. I know. Eh, yeah, look what it is, the cartoon crew. Oh, hey, Pat, I didn't know you worked here. Ah, yeah. If I want people to see me rolling, innit? Fucking hell, he's everywhere. Ay, a dick. <sighs> ah, you boys fancy some free burgers or what? Perks of the job, innit? Oh, yeah, if you can do it. Oh, nice one, bud. We cannot eat you anymore. This is the worst customer service I've ever experienced. I'd like to speak to your line manager, please. What for? What I just said. Oh, what did you just say, then? This is unbelievable. I'm going to take this to the ombudsman and the media. Who's an ombudsman? How on earth have you got a job there? You're not fit to sweep roads. Look, mate, there's no need to be... I am not your mate. Just hold on for me, sir. I'll be two minutes. Don't you dare put me on a... Oh. Oh, Dan. Yes, Alan? We, uh, we're still taking on staff. We are. Only I've got a mate. A good bloke. He's looking to get his foot in the door, see? So, wondered if we could get him in for an interview, like? Well, I'll need to see your CV first. Way ahead of you, boy. He dropped it off to me this morning. Hmm. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't harm to have him come in, see what he's about. Good lad. I'll let him know now. OK, tell him to come in Thursday. And keep the call short. You know the rules on personal calls? Ah, uh, yeah, of course I do. Whatever you're selling, I'm not fucking interested now. Beat this is Alan. Oh, hi, Al. You right? I got you an interview, son. Oh, you fucking booty. Told you I would, didn't I? Oh, you did, boy. You fucking did, I. Interviews on Thursday. Fucking perfect. I tell you what, Al. You fucking dummy right by here, boy. It's no problem. So, what are you up to, Ann? Oh, you know, bit of this, bit of that, like. I'm out taking Charles for a walk at the minute. Hey, Tone. You all right? Yeah. Why? What do you want? Oh, nothing. Just thought I'd come over, like, you know, say hello. But you never say hey to me. You don't even like me. No, we're buds, man. Me and you. What do you got there? Dumplings. I really love a dumpling. Oh, me too. I love dumplings. They're like my favourite food. I just love having a dumpling slaved in hot gravy and just... Just picking it up off the plate and just putting it between my lips and just slowly chewing down on that dumpling. I love dumplings. I love how steamy dumplings are. Oh, sorry, I uh, I lost my train of thought then. Dumplings get me going. It's early, though. It's never too early for dumplings. It's OK. Where's with you? No. Two of you are good friends now, eh? No, are you? You and her bother a lot, don't you? Yeah, I... I guess. She's a good girl, isn't she? Yeah, she, she is. You don't fancy her, do you? What? No. Just you seem quite close. You don't fancy her? No, no, I don't fancy her. And even if I did, I would... I would never do anything. She she has a boyfriend. Rich? Yeah, Rich. And why do you think about Rich, Anne? Well, I, I never really speak to him, but... 
He seems all right. He makes Kate happy. Yeah, yeah, he does. Lost of the dumplings if anyone wants some. Oh, uh, sorry, Greg. I, I got to run back up and get some more dumplings. I love dumplings. I owe you now, you little fucker. Okay, Beaton, this is going to be a mad interview. We're going to ask you some quick questions and then you give your answers in as short a time as possible, okay? All right, yeah, whatever. Okay, so first up, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Well, like a, like a, just a tree or... You know, a tree, like a really big one or a little bonsai tree. Oh, probably a big one. I don't know, something like oak or... Oh, I know, um, one of those massive ones you see in... The, no, that one in Bringback Park that kid got stuck up in. I'd be that tree. Who's your biggest inspiration in life? Fucking Chaz Kroger. And who's that? The fuck do you mean who's that? It's fucking... Next question, but... Okay, here we go. What's, what's your favourite emotion? Uh, favourite emotion? Um, opening a can. Interesting answers. What would you say is the colour of success? Uh, colour of success? Um, I don't know, gold? Um, you know, rich, something rich people are... Pla- platinum. Is platinum a colour? Pick a letter of the alphabet. W. Oh, W, not bad. What do you think people notice most when they look at you? Well, fucking look at me. Fucking hot as fuck. Okay, what are your bigger strengths? Easiest one you've asked. I'll give you free right now. Grafting, grafting, and grafting. Okay, and what what would you say are your weaknesses? Oh, fucking Graham Norton. What the fuck are you calling me weak for? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I, I'm asking what your weaknesses are, what you consider your shortcomings in the workplace. Look, I'm just going to come out and ask it. What is this job? What, what will I be doing like? You'll be a call advisor, so, so taking calls, dealing with customer inquiries, anything relating to gas and electric meters. All right, then. Watch this now. I'll show you what I'm like on the phone. Hello? Your fruit are beaten at Welsh Utilities. How can I help you? Right. Yeah, so you want a gas meter, do you? No problem. When do you want it fitted? All right, that's fine. Let me tap it in on the computer by you now. Right, it's saying we can get it out next Thursday. Well, that's the soonest we have. Oh, but less of the cheek now. Next Thursday is the soonest. Oh, buddy boy, I fucking told you, Thursday. But now, because of your fucking lip, you can have it next fucking month instead. Bit of respect, it's my fucking advice to you, sunshine. Ta fucking ra. What a fucking prick. That was... Yeah? The worst call I have ever heard. Oh. But we are desperate. We need staff like you wouldn't believe. So... I I guess I'm going to have to offer you the job. Fuck I, yes! But like I said, it's only due to the circumstances. And you're going to need a lot of training. And I mean a lot. You're going to need to be nurtured. Yeah, that's it. You think it's all fucking funny and clever and good looking? Now you'll see what happens when you mess with the hardest boys in the car. <laughs> you don't fancy her, do you? I just love Kate, slaved in hot gravy. I love Kate. Now you'll see what happens when you mess with the hardest boys in the college. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you little fat cunt. Oh, you little fat bastard. <laughs>